Also not plug in an application, but we can't log in, and we're all working from home. You get a call at 6 a.m. It's your boss. It's time to get working, cause we need you. We know you're stretched so thin. We're thankful for your time. Because you're so handy, you're a fine help. What a hard life it would be. Unproductive, always locked out without IT. All the user errors tragic, even though our hardware's magic. You can feel the answer rising. Could you try and just reboot it? You keep us from the D darkness. I'm so happy that you need us. We need you. And we couldn't make it through COVID without you. You're so handy. You're a fine help. What a hard life it would be. Unproductive, always locked out without our team. Thank you, IT, and thanks for listening. All right. Welcome, everybody. Um, I am switching over here. Hold on a sec. Um, thank you for joining us today. Little music to kick us off. Uh, welcome to Talk Techie to Me. I am Jill Karp, Enterprise Marketing Manager here at Logitech. I am going to go over the agenda. And as well as a one housekeeping item, and then I'm going to pass it over to Josh Smith to kick off our event. So we are going to be talking about peace of mind support with our select services, and our presenter Dan is going to take us through that journey. Uh, Josh will also be helping out too. And um, if you have any questions, uh, please put them in uh, the chat or question box. And um, we will look to answer those throughout the session. And then we're also gonna open it up to where if you wanted to get off a of mute and talk and ask more questions, we definitely have time for that as well. So before I pass it over to Josh, I am going to talk about one quick thing. Uh, we are gonna be doing a giveaway uh, for a chance to win one Brio for attending. So in order to qualify, you need to put your full name in our Zoom. And how to do this, um, you want to hover over your video um, and at the top of your screen, hover over your video and hit select. And then from the menu, choose rename and enter your first and last name. And again, this will put you um, in the running to win a Brio. So um, Josh, I'm gonna pass it over to you and I'll be back at the end to uh, share a few more things. Thanks. Yeah, thanks Jill. Yeah, and if you guys don't have a Brio, um, you definitely want one. That's what I'm using. I think that's probably what Dan's using as well. So um, really the best webcam on the market as far as we're concerned. So, um, so today we're gonna, we're gonna talk to you guys a little bit about Logitech Select um, and give you a little tour of our Select portal uh, talk about how to assign licenses. Uh, most importantly, what comes with Select and what is the value of having Select uh, attached to your conference room? So uh, Dan's going to uh, walk through kind of the basics of Logitech Select. So I'm going to pass it over to him. But real quick introductions. My name is Josh Smith. I'm a senior solutions engineer at Logitech. Um, and uh, joining me is Dan Klemek. Um, I'll let him introduce himself, but um, he's also a solutions engineer here. Perfect. Thanks, Josh. Yeah, so I'm Dan Klimek. So again, a solutions engineer here at Logitech and hopefully very technical and you feel free to ask any questions during this. We got the chat open. We got a couple of other Logitech SEs here on the call as well. So we should be able to get to answer all your questions answered. But yes, welcome. Um, yeah, so today we're going to talk about services and how they do help you with your, you know, with your video collaboration space. Uh, I'm going to go through a little bit of PowerPoint death with you, but we're going to get to a demo here at the end. Um, but some things I want to talk about, of course, is our standard services that come with every device that we have, Select, um, Sync Plus, and then Jumpstart for the Microsoft Microsoft Teams people here on the call as well. And then we'll hopefully, like I say, get into a little bit of a demo. 
couple of little marketing slides. So, you know, at Logitech, you know, we try to do everything here for you, for your services. And if your video collaboration spaces are working great, your employees are happy. So if you're they're happy, you're happy, less IT calls, um, more time for you guys to do everything you need to do. Um, so wanted to say that our services are available worldwide. So you guys can do what you need to do worldwide. It doesn't have to be just in our little locations. And we have our alliance partners like Microsoft and Zoom and Google that we deal with all day, every day. Um, and our relationships with our partners that you guys deal with and buy our services and our products from. Um, so select. One thing you get with Select, so Select comes with every one of our products. So let's picture this. Picture you have a room. So we do this by room. We have a room. Uh, as soon as you buy any of the devices for your room, you get the standard warranty um, of two years. Um, Monday through Friday, eight to five, warranty support. Um, first day, you know, one business day response time. So if you do send an email or get a phone call, you might not get it back for a day. Um, but that's why we have Select. Um, and that does come standard. So that is our sync portal. We did a tech, talk tech to me about that last month. I think it was Josh actually that did that. Um, and then with sync plus, we add something, we add a little bit more. So sync and then sync plus, we add insights and analytics. So analytics gets you a little bit more stuff that you can see into your rooms. We're gonna talk a little bit more about these each ones, but also it extends your warranty. So default, they come with a two year warranty. You can get select. Um, or Sync Plus to add on to your extended warranty to get more than two years out of your room, as hopefully everybody knows you should get more than two years out of your you know, room devices. Um, and with Select, you get all of that wrapped in. You get Sync and Sync Plus with the Insights Analytics, um, your extended warranty, as well as um, faster product replacement, on-site spare kits, 24 by 7 response time, with an hour response instead of just the one day or the business hours, you get 24 by seven with one hour response time um, and a designated service manager who we'll talk more about here as well. Uh, da, 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 da. And I'm gonna get into a little bit more of our jumpstart as well here at the very end. Oh, gotta go back. Um, and our additional partners. So wrapped around all that, as long as our select and our, our uh, sync platform, everything. We also rely on our partners. So you guys use our partners. They also might have services wrapped around their solutions and services offerings that they give you as well attached to our select. They also might have access to our select portal or your select portal to take care of your devices for you. Um, all right, so there's, I'm going to talk a little bit of our standard support and then how our select in uh, sync plus add on to each one of our each to our services portal. Um, so standard, you basically get all of your coverage. So this is when you buy a product, it comes right out of the box. So, you know, we get two hour or two years of support and that's the Monday through Friday. So that comes with the out of the box setup. If you need technical support with that, any post sale setup um, and then two year warranty after that as well, it comes with full sync um, access to sync our platform for updates. You can do firmware updates and everything from that. That is all free, all included in this as well. Um, and all of our collab OS and firmware updates throughout the lifestyle of the product or lifetime of the product. Um, with select, sorry, jump to slide. So I'm gonna go into each one of these a little bit in detail. Feel free to ask any questions, but um, with the 24 by seven support, that's enterprise grade. You're basically going to get um, RMAs, expedited RMAs, on-site spares, through sync, all the stuff. So 24 by 7 support gives you confidence in your video solutions. So you're going to get what you need when you need it from us. Hang on, it's not acting up. So we know that downtime isn't always an option for you. So you can also get 20, you know, they get to 24 by 7 support from our technicians, hang on. The DSM, once you guys get more than 50 rooms, so this is a room-based product. So we each one of these is licensed per room, not per device. So it's not licensed for your camera, for your switch, for your sink, or I mean, for your switch, none of that stuff. It's all room-based, room-based licensing. So everything that's in the room, you get to have included in that license. You can mix and match, you can change the rooms around. It doesn't always have to stay as is. If you needed that switch or you needed to add a switch in something there, you add it to your sub, add it to your sync portal into that room. 
and it is licensed. So it's not a per device, it's a per room option. And once you get up to 50 rooms, um, you get a designated service manager. Is that showing up? So it, the designated service manager helps. It's not just a tier one person. You always have to answer the same questions. Did you reboot it? Did you take care of this? Your designated service manager knows more about your environment. They're already a tier two or tier three employee here that will be able to help out with everything you need on your platform. They know more about your products, about your about your site, and what services you're using. So you won't have to go through that each time. And they're going to be the one to throw get the people involved, get product involved. Maybe you have the compute from Dell or somebody. We can get them involved, get all that stuff taken care of for you so that we manage and maintain these for you. And they're fully accessible through email or phone call, however you, however you desire, through the select portal. So that's how you reach out to your DSM and that's people with 50 rooms or more. So if you have, um, so that, that person takes care of you if you have 50 rooms or more. Product replacement, um, one thing you wanna know is this, these have to be within the five year limit. So if we replace these products, it's product replacement and it's um, not just the two year warranty, but you can extend the warranty to three or to five years, depending on which, you, which version of select you would, you, would, uh, you would purchase. So all of the devices are gonna be product replacements. And with that, you get an expedited RMA. Well, it's not just an RMA like normal where you would get um, with our regular, product offering the two-year warranty you get an rma and it's ground sent to you whenever you get it it gets gets to you uh, with the advanced rma it is uh one day or next day replacement you don't have to send us the device back first we send you the, the defect we send you the device and then you can send us the defective one back at a later date so you don't have to wait for that device it can be immediately sent to you the next day limited downtime, so you have just a day of downtime if you need that. Um, and then also with 50 rooms or more, you get on-site spares. So you get an entire room kit um, of an on-site on -site swappable spares. So and it's not, again, it's not just each device that's in the room that's licensed, it's the room. So if you have a rally bar and a switch and a tap controller and a scheduler outside and a, a site in the middle of the room, all of those, are included in your room and all of those are managed and maintained all on that one license. Um, so if you have 150 rooms, you get three on-site spare kits. They don't all have to be in one place. One can be in Bali, one can be in Mexico, one can be in the US, and you can move those around as need be. Any questions so far? I haven't seen anything in the chat. That's good, good or bad. All right, so moving on here. Um, with that, you also get our sync platform, our premium sync. So you already have sync. You can configure and update your devices. You can do everything you need to. This is more of a, it's also comprehensive to Teams Admin Center or Zoom, the Zoom portal. So this is digs deeper into the devices, tells you what's wrong with the devices. You can change different settings on the devices and also get updated. Um, through service now or email tickets um, through through the portal as well. So you don't just have to look and watch. It will update you and let you know once you have the services or if there's something wrong with your room. You get an automatic email. You do, if you do have service now, you do need a service now license, but this is also integrated with service now. So your support teams can get tickets, um, incidents and everything thrown at, at them as they need be. All right, moving on. And then, of course, the services portal. So everything you would need to see. So the Logitech Select portal is a little different than the Sync portal. The Sync portal is all the management, maintains all your devices, see everything that's going on, change your video, change things you need to see, change things you need to do on the devices itself. The Select portal is more about managing and maintaining your tickets. So if you do have any open tickets or service requests or anything like that, there's a whole list of all your tickets you have open. And then who is responsible for those tickets, if it's on your side or our side, or who's been waiting for tickets. So if you have a ticket that's open that hasn't been taken care of, you can see if there's a point of contact on your side that's been dropping the ball or somebody else that has been dropping the ball, you all have access to that to see who's, you know, that ticket is not just sitting in somebody's inbox. Maybe they're on vacation, you guys can take care of that or we can take care of that. So you have full access to all the tickets you have open directly in the portal. 
and it's easy to open a ticket because your rooms are in this portal. You can import your rooms from the sync platform into select so that all your rooms are there. All your devices that are in the rooms are there with the serial numbers. So you don't have to, again, refine your serial numbers, re-warranty these for the new service you have. It's all imported from select into sync. So all that stuff is included with the devices. And if you open a ticket, as Josh will show you later in a demo, um, click on a device, click on or click on the room, click on the device that's wrong, give us a little explanation of what's going on. Tell us if you want us to reach out via email or phone. And within an hour, if you have 50 rooms or less or select, you should have a call back or an email. So going back, it's, sort of, it's a room license. So you can have as many devices as you need in that space, all on one license, and you can keep adding devices over time. So as as newer devices come out or you get the new site and add it to your room and take out mic pods and put the site in there, um, ceiling microphones, all that kind of stuff, everything that you have in there is all included in that room. So if you add things to that room, as long as you add it to the sync portal in uh, supported to that room, it is covered. And again, it's you can extend your warranty out to five years with this as well. So if you're getting towards the end of your two year warranty with some of your room systems, Perfect time to add select to get an extra three years of warranty on all of your devices and that dedicated service manager, advanced RMAs, on-site spares, all the things that you'd get with select. Um, so why would you want to do this? Why would you want to get a select? Um, central point of contact, one throat to choke. We have it all. We'll take care of the devices in the room. We'll deal with your partners that you've, that you've had install the room for you or bought the products from. Um, we'll deal with right with our vendors and especially Microsoft and Zoom with figure out who is is. And if there's a compute in the room for Windows or MTR on Android or MTR on Windows, um, we'll deal with Dell or whoever else, whatever other platform we have. We will make that introduction and take care of things as well with everybody else. So it's not just we're not leaving you alone. And of course, our reputation. We've been around the block for a long time. We're globally deployed. We're one of the largest video collaboration um, distributors, of course. Um, number one maker of collaboration products and meeting spaces and desktops. Um, and this is not only about um, just the video collaboration space. It can also get into some of the other video collaborate, the personal products, the Logi Doc, the Brio that you're going to be winning here at the end. Um, so select can also take care of those things in those rooms as well. And of course, Sync takes care of those personal collaboration people as well. So people that have Brios and video spaces at home and keyboards and mice can all be imported into this portal and taken care of and handled by you and us and Logitech together. So let's just take a quick little look at comparison between these two. A uh, little jump, anybody, no questions here? I see there's a couple of questions, but I think Josh has got everything taken care of here. Good, cool. Let's see that nod. All right. So just a little comparison. We talked about what we get right out of the box, straight out of the box, two years. You know, with select, you get up to five years. And those are replaceable. Any of the devices that go bad or anything, you will have up to five years. As long as within that five-year window, we can replace that for you. Um, the advent. RMA, so you can get an RMA right away if you don't need, if you get that, if you even 24 hours is too much or uh, too much for you to have a down, top down time, you get the 50 rooms plus 50 rooms, then you have the on site spare. So, um, and you can, ne you never have to be down with select. And of course, uh, you get a designated services manager that helps take care of your issues. The tier two or tier, tier three person that will manage and run your issues with you and on the back end for us. And of course, uh, Sync Plus, you get the one click request so you can get email alerts, service now integration. You don't get email alerts or anything with Sync today. That's why you would need Select or Sync Plus for those integrations. All right, so what do we cover? Everything. So Select will cover pretty much any device we have out there in our video collaboration space, as well as our upcoming products. Like I said before, if you have a room that's licensed for Select, if you add something to that room, it is still licensed under that Select model. If you take something away and put it into a different room, because this room needs a switch or this room needs a different camera, put it in that room, uh, update it in sync, 
and it's it's covered under the select room license. Hey, Dan, one thing it might yes, be sir. good to bring up is just mm -hmm. adding products to room. So we often get the question, mm -hmm. you know, if I buy select and at the time I buy select, I have a rally bar and maybe a tap only. And later on, you decide we're going to add a whiteboard camera with the Logitech Scribe. Mm -hmm. We want to add in a site. Maybe when we want a tap scheduler outside the room. All of those devices can be added to that room that's already licensed with Logitech Select. Um, at no additional cost to you guys. So again, just emphasizing that licensing model that Dan was talking about with any device that's part of this space would be covered under that single select license. Perfect, thank you, Josh. Yeah, yeah so exactly, it's the same cost, whether it's a rally bar and a tap, or if it's a rally bar, a switch, uh, you know, pendant microphones, two tap schedulers on the outside of the room, all that. So it's a one room license for whatever you have with Logic Gear in the room. Thank you. All right, so we talked about sync, we talked about select, and then there's sync plus. So sync plus is in the middle between sync and select. So that's why it's sync plus. So, and what sync plus does, so you don't always just have to buy select. You have sync automatically, sync plus is an add-on and select is an add-on on top of that. So sync plus will give you, again, that warranty, extra warranty, so you can get, extended warranty on your two or three year devices as well. And then this also gives you the email integration and service now integration. So you can get streamline your help desk for service tickets as well. So you don't get that with sync, but you get that with sync plus. So there's the difference between the three of them, you know, management and, and then you get also get insights and analytics. So the insights and analytics, I'm doing a little bit more here on the next slide. You get the insights and analytics with sync plus, which is also included in select. Select is more of the service management portal for you to take care of managing, maintaining your tickets, 24 hour sport, advanced RMAs, all the stuff we've talked about before, but Sync Plus is the integration with ServiceNow, email alerts and um, in, insights and analytics. So with insights and analytics, you get this automatically with Sync Plus and Select, and it's pretty awesome. You get to see how many rooms are in use, your seat usage. A lot of people have, you know, back in the COVID days, you could only have four or five people in a room. They had to be six feet apart. So that's where this came from, is how many people are in the chairs, how many people are in the rooms, and is the room overutilized or underutilized? So we can do it all the way from meeting usage. Are the meeting rooms actually used? And what kind of meeting rooms are being used by your people? How often are they being used in the day? How many minutes in the day are they used? So when you're building out a different room or a different space, a new office complex, bringing people back to the office, what kind of rooms are people using? What do they like in the rooms? Do they like the rooms with Scribe? Do they like the rooms with Sight? Do they like the rooms of, you know, whatever they have? So you know when you're building out more rooms with more floors, if you want more huddle spaces, because those are the ones that are getting used by your employees more than the rooms that 15, 20 plus chairs um, in the environment. So all these analytics help you with building out your rooms in the future, um, get your ROI against the room you have built today. And if you need to adjust rooms because people like these rooms better, um, what you can add to the rooms to bring the people back and, and have them enjoy their meeting room space they have today. So analytics is a great thing um, that also is added through Sync Plus and Select. Um, Google Meet, I see some about Google Meet in the <laughs> chat. What is your question? And none of these options are available with Google Meet. So Google Meet is also supported in the select plat platform. So we do support Teams, Zoom, and Google. So if you have a Google Meet uh, compute in the room, you're running Google, Google Shop, absolutely. That is all completely supported by Sync as well. I think what Matthew's asking about is not being able to utilize Logitech Sync installed on Chrome boxes, mm. in which case you do have a point, Matthew. One of the things that I'm talking to a lot of my Google customers about is if you're not utilizing our legacy devices like Meetup or Rally Rally Plus, uh, but instead one of our bars, Rally Bar, Rally Bar Mini, those are networkable devices and come preloaded with the Sync app. So you can still monitor those. We kind of prefer to have those managed through Google, but in certain cases where you may be waiting on a feature set, um, those can also be updated through sync portals. So um, our Collab OS devices like Rallybar, Rallybar Mini, Site, Tap Scheduler, um, all of those can still be managed through Logitech Sync kind of independently of the Chrome box. 
So you do have a point, Matthew, if you're running Chrome boxes today with Google Meet, um, there is no sync app for Chrome OS. So thank you for bringing that up though. Yeah, perfect, thank you. And yeah. we're in beta to support Google as a uh, appliance. So coming soon, you'll be able to have sync natively, right? Yeah, without exactly. a Chrome box. Mm -hmm. yeah. Thank you, Kevin. Thanks, Another Kevin. one of our SEs. <laughs> Thanks for being on the call. Okay, so, and then with ServiceNow integration, we, of course, you can get email alerts. As everybody knows, if you have ServiceNow, you know what it entails, but that's the only way to get ServiceNow integration is Sync Plus or Select with our Logitech devices. All right, getting towards the end. So one other thing here um, is Jumpstart. So I don't know if anybody knew this or not, but as soon as you buy um, a Microsoft Teams Room bundle from Logitech, you automatically have Jumpstart. So Jumpstart is, um, let's, this next slide explains it better. Okay, so maybe not, it's not as wordy. Anyway, so Jumpstart is basically what it is. And so Microsoft, people that have dealt with Microsoft before, Microsoft has had a Jumpstart program. It's basically to get some of your first Teams rooms up and running. If you're moving from something else or from Skype or from Zoom to Teams, anything like that, to get your first room set up, there's a lot of things you have to deal with. You know, the account settings, if you're gonna do it on-prem, off-prem, um, uh, Exchange calendar integration, MTR app updates, firewall configurations, uh, proxy setup, all of that fun stuff you guys have to deal with. Intune, um, all those things we have. We have uh, capable technicians within our organization that will help you get those first rooms set up and running. So you have 90 days to deal to help have us help you get those rooms set up, and that's automatically when you buy a Teams room bundle from us. You have 90 day jump start to have us help you get your team's room up and running. Hopefully it doesn't take that long, but sometimes it absolutely does to get through some of your environmental frustrations maybe with teams um, to get these in there. And it's uh, offered globally. So it's for every team's room bundle you purchase, you have that for 90 days. Um, and that includes RMA assistance as well um, to our Logitech, all the Logitech computes and components. So. Um, please utilize that. We are here for that. We, we have a lot of very well, um, well-versed teams engineers here. On the, I've been involved in this since LCS do, LCS days, so um, I know all the iterations from LCS LCS to Teams, um, and we can definitely help to get your Teams room set up. So please take use of that 90-day jumpstart that we also offer you in our select, well, and not in select, but also another service we offer for, for you guys as well. And it's very easy. It'll come in the box with uh, how to do it and a quick little email and fill out a little form and you have our support to help you guys get started on Teams. Look at that. Done in 20 minutes. Anybody have any questions? No. Good. Um, well, I think we're going to run into a demo here then and we'll let uh, if there's any questions, I'll be watching here. We'll keep getting keep your questions coming. We'll answer these as well, but I'm going to stop sharing and we'll get Josh here in a little bit of a big demo. Yeah, so I'll give you a little just kind of high level tour of the Logitech Select portal. Um, so actually, I'm going to close this window for now. So the the Select portal is actually a separate portal from uh, sync, but they end up being kind of working together. And I'll show you what this what this looks like. So with all the customers that we have that are, let's say you're going to deploy 100 Logitech conference rooms, kind of step one ends up being, let's add them to Logitech Sync Portal. Now you can uh, take advantage of Logitech Select without a sync tenant, if for any reason there are blockers uh, to using Sync Portal, but, um, but the the easiest way is to get all of your rooms provisioned to the sync portal uh, to where you can just go in here under rooms, add rooms, import update from Logitech sync. When I do that, it basically does a sync with my sync portal. That's a lot of syncs. Um, but uh, all of my rooms then show in the select portal as they do here. So, um, and then we do have a link out to uh, sync as well. So this would then open up the uh, the sync portal that I have tied to uh, to select here. So back to rooms, um, just kind of give you a, a quick little overview. So this is these are some of my devices that are in my 
lab here. Um, and you can see I've got select licenses assigned to everything except my roommate at the moment. Um, so I can actually go in here, uh, click the box, assign licenses, um, and then decide if I want. We have both. You can actually see the available licenses here. So we have 104 select licenses available, 94 sync plus licenses available. So I can select which one I want to use. Uh, and of course, the sync plus is just the extras in sync portal. Uh, select is that on-demand support, next day RMAs, 24 seven uh, support, um, advanced RMAs, uh, dedicated um, success manager. So, um, so hopefully you kind of get the idea as far as assigning licenses to these spaces. Uh, well, that's and a good of course, point, Josh. Sorry yeah. to interrupt, but you can yeah, also you can also move these licenses or adjust these licenses. So you see, we have available sync licenses and select licenses. So you can move these if you adjust and add more services to this room or make the lar room larger or you're starting to have issues, you can adjust those licenses of where they need to be. So um, don't always have to stay. They can move around as well. Yeah, yeah, exactly. You can kind of move them around rooms. But oh. um, so then taking a look at products, this is all the different devices that I have. So this is breaking down actually devices across all of my different rooms. So let's say you just wanted to see you know, which rally bars you have here. You could filter that out. And now I'm seeing all of the different rally bars um, that I have uh, in all of these different conference spaces. Um, I know with our, with at least with our SE tenant, some of this information isn't showing because we didn't set it up, but, um, but you do have some abilities to filter this stuff out. Uh, contracts, this, this is where whenever you purchase select, you would actually um, add the contracts um, that you can then have licenses pulled from. So let's say you um, signed a contract for 50 select licenses. That would be listed under a single contract number. And then I don't know if you saw when I was going in to assign licenses, but uh, let's pick one that doesn't have one. I actually can select which contract. So you might have, let's say you've got you know, you've got uh, 10 licenses left over from a previous contract and you just bought 50 more licenses. You can select which one you want to use there. System is where I can actually go in and give people access to select portals. So uh, in fact, I went in the other day and gave Dan access, I think, yeah, right here. And you can see he's now an active user. So I just went in, added a user, typed in his email, selected the role I wanted him to have. Um, and then he got an email invite to join the select portal. So when you purchase select, you'll get that first uh, kind of first time login invite uh, to sign in. And from there, you can go in and add other users within your organization uh, to have this access as well. And you, you are going to want them to have access um, so that they can file support tickets. So I'll kind of show you where to go to do that. So again, this just links out to Sync Portal. Um, and that's where I would see all of these insights. So of course, select comes with sync plus. So these insights that I show available, you can see I added this select license on my rally bar and I've been using it just a little bit. I set a seat count of three. So, you know, on average, I'm the only person in here most of the time. Um, I can see meetings without video, um, how often it's actually being used for video, go back and look at historics as far as you know, how long was this in use? Um, so just a quick overview of insights. I know we're focused on select, but this is rolled into select as well. And then um, I'll show you real quick under alerts in the sync portal, this is where you'd have those email notifications. So another feature that comes with sync plus and select um, are these native email alerts within sync portal, as well as that service now integration. So just be aware that that is all handled through the sync portal. That's where you'd see it. Select is really more for assigning your licenses, uh, moving licenses um, and filing support tickets. So if you click on support here, give it a second to load. We have a lot of tickets in there we've been playing with. Yeah, my internet has been slow the last couple of days as well. So this is, um, just historics as far as which you know tickets have been filed through uh, the select team. Um, so if I go in here, I can click on this ticket, get some info. 
multi-stream functionality, unable to focus on individuals. Um, and then you can see when this was created, this is currently closed. Um, they sent some images. You can see the response from select um, with some information about smart gallery. Um, and then, you know, again, you can kind of see the entire interaction on this support ticket. Um, and again, if you want them to call you, they'll call you too. You don't necessarily have to handle this all through emails. Um, so just know this is where you go to create those support tickets. Um, again, I could go in and, and say, and you can tie this to the um, room that you have in Sync Portal, which is why Select is really such an essential part of um, maintaining your devices with Logitech Select and that, that on-demand support. So um, if I go down here, I don't know if I'm going to be able to find mine or not because we have so many. Um, but I can select, you know, which what product is it, right? Rally bar. Um, I can select uh, what the issue would end up being. Um, and then it gives you a place to type in the description. Also upload log files or pictures of what you're seeing. So um, but all of the tickets are e-tickets filed through the select portal. Um, any questions so far? I know that's kind of a quick overview. We didn't get into all the different filters and ways you can kind of um, kind of find what you're looking for within the select portal, but it's namely used again to assign licenses, um, to import new rooms in and assign licenses, um, maybe to move licenses around as well. Um, this is where all of the service side is handled. You're, your remote monitoring, your management is still gonna be handled through the sync portal. And I know we had one person ask and said that um, they didn't know that sync was included with um, select. Sync is completely free. You can use sync with or without select. It's the sync plus features that we were talking about. Um, so hopefully we clarified that piece of it. But um, Dan, do we have any questions in the chat just based on, um, kind of yeah. the little demo of, of select portal. So they're wondering, is it in the roadmap to have direct support phone number? Uh, we moved That's away a good question. From, we moved away from We that. moved so away we have, from it, so I'm going to say no. Yeah. Right. We did have the direct support phone number, and it, you know, we're moving more to this model of, would you like to be emailed, you know, or would you rather have us call, reach out to you? Um, so no, we're not going to have a direct support phone number, and it's different in some regions of the world, but we're getting towards this. You reach out to us, we will email you or, you know, respond to you within an hour or a day if it's, you know, regular select, but for regular sync, but for select, it should be in an hour. And they do say sometimes it's more, time is the essence, and they need even an hour is too much to get it resolved. Well, that's when you need select, you need to have that uh, on-site spare. So if you have an on-site spare with any issues or hardware, I guess, related issues, um, swap it out quick and see if that fixes the issue. Um, sometimes it's hard to do more than an hour or quicker than an hour, but again, know that um, an hour is the longest it should take them to get back to you. And then I would suggest a phone call back and hopefully it's a lot quicker than that. Um, and with your dedicated service manager, um, they know if you know you're having an issue, it's most likely going to be more than or quicker than an hour to get back and forth. An initial discussion might take an hour for them to get to you, but by then they know everything about your environment. They've been been dealing with you in the past somehow, so you should be right to that tier two, tier three engineer to get that problem resolved. So you don't have to go through that first hour or two of reboot. What else is your problem? Are you running Teams or Zoom? You know who are you? Sign here pint of blood but yeah so yeah we do the best we can and hopefully this is you know it gets better our service gets better every time just know that with select there is a one hour sla attached to it that's mm -hmm. something that's part of the contract that you sign right yeah. so what i found is that the, more often than not the select team is actually responding within 30 minutes most times about 20 minutes so if you file a ticket through the select portal ahead of you know, maybe walking across campus to the room that you're going to be in saying, hey, please give me a call at your earliest convenience at this phone number. I need to, here's the issue I'm having, right? And then by the time maybe you're you're over in the conference room, after stopping by to get a cup of coffee, the Logitech rep is calling you, right? The free support, uh, we used to have that 1-800 number attached. Um, 
you know, that was a way kind of around these one to two business day response times for free VC support, where you could just ring in and get someone on the line. I used to work on the support team. So sometimes you get me. Um, they did away with that just because it was hard to kind of prioritize. So we might have a single user that takes up an hour of a support rep's time troubleshooting a Brio, right? Meantime, there's a partner that's installing 50 conference rooms that's on site and needs immediate help. So um, again, with Select, just rest assured that you're going to be uh, getting a response within that hour. Um, one other thing, can you show them... At for insights, yeah. how far do we go back? Do we only go back 30 days? They're wondering if we can go back up to possibly a year so that when they do have their budgeting yeah. season the next year, how far back does it go? That's a great question because I don't know off the top of my head, um, but how yeah. far back can we go for reasons of how to build their rooms? You know, like I say, not everybody gets budget right away and you're not gonna see all this. So if you wanna see how far back it actually does go, I am not sure off the top of my head. So the, the stats that are listed here are kind of a rolling 30 days, right? Mm -hmm. So I don't know how far I can go back here, but let's just find out. We will, if we don't we get go to the answer back now, quite a ways, yeah. yeah. We will get you the answer. Yeah, so like, for example, this, this demo room, I have to assume that's in London back in March on the 9th, was in a meeting for 17 minutes, uh, has a seat count of eight, so average um, seat count, actually, I think at that time, maybe they had it set to four. So average people count was 3.7, meaning one person left to go to the bathroom and came back or something, right? So that's, you know, six, seven months ago that we're, we're seeing that. When you're looking at this dashboard for the insights, though, it is a rolling 30 days. Yeah, great question. Um, and what is the best? There was one other question. Where is that chat? Chat ran away from me. Come on, chat. Oh, okay. So, um, yeah, so sync automatically populates the serial numbers, you know, into select, except for the non collab OS devices. So, you get you can add them manually. Um, but if you have a lot more than 100 or so, it becomes a challenge. How do we, what's the best way to upload them? Um, or what's the best way to upload them? We have CSV file uploads for those to put them in a room, but each one of those has to go into a room. So individually, you would have to put them into a room anyway. If you're going to mass put them in, it would just throw them into one spot. So each one of those devices needs to be associated with a room because that's how the licensing model works. So um, I don't think there's a way to mass import them into select. Yeah, so basically, in sync, again, in a sync, I'm sorry, sync or it's select. In, so. It's importing, yeah, so it, it kind of depends, Eduardo, if you're talking about on the sync side or the select side, select just takes all the devices and rooms as they are and imports them. So you can assign licenses to rooms, right? Um, as far as the sync portal goes, you know, the our Collab OS devices have to be provisioned, all of the Windows or Mac computers that may be running your Teams room or Zoom room solution um, would have to have the sync app installed and be provisioned to the sync portal. So to answer your question, there's, you know, there's not like a CSV file that provisions a hundred devices at once. What I'm often talking to my customers about is, you know, ahead of installing say a hundred rooms, you go in and create a uh, hundred empty rooms. I guess I'm not sharing my screen anymore, but I can. And just to give you an idea of, of, you know, kind of my preference, at least, um, let's see. So if I go in here to inventory and let's say under the AMR group, I want to go in and add 100 rooms. So I'd go to empty rooms and I'm going to create a bunch, right? So I can just title the room with the seat count and move to the next one, right? That makes it pretty easy to create 100 rooms that, that now I'll have a provisioning code attached to those spaces. Uh, and then, you know, just create a spreadsheet. Redwood conference room, here's the provision code. Beach conference room, here's the provision code. And pass it off to your installers so that whoever's doing that first time setup has a spreadsheet they're looking at that has all the provisioning codes that they need. Um, because there, there will be manual setup involved in the space, of course, to install the gear, at which time you can enter that provisioning code. Hopefully that gives you an idea of maybe how you could do that for 100 rooms. Perfect. 
I think that was all the questions I saw through chat. Oh, got another one. Uh, anything in the works for getting switch into sync via Collab OS device monitoring? I, I think it's on the roadmap. Maybe another SE should speak up if they if they have more know. details. <laughs> um, what what I've heard it's on the roadmap because we also have the same kind of thing that pops up with Scribe. By the way, Michael, thank you for joining. You're going to say Scribe. Um, My, Michael and I we, we go back. We go way back. Um, so yeah, not not yet, Michael, but I'm hearing it's on the roadmap. I just can't give you an ETA on it yet. Yep, scribe as well. Scribe. Yep. Yep. Yeah, we're here, we're hearing everyone <laughs> loud and clear. Our product team has has heard this. Um, the the challenge really is more the the Android operating system. So it's our Collab OS product team that's working on this um, currently, but um, I know I've heard it brought up on a few internal calls that it is on, on the roadmap. They are working on it, uh, but there's, there's no firm ETA yet. So stay tuned. Yeah, it's just Great a little questions. harder one. It's a, it's a USB device hanging yeah. off of another device, you know, running Collab OS. So it's 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 just the technical technicalities we're trying to get through. But yes, it is something we all want as well. Yeah, and you'll notice that some of our newer devices like Sight, those do those do show up, right? And they are actually the site is actually automatically updated um, by the bar. So, for example, if you're running 1.9 with a site that's on 1.9, you upgrade your bar to 1.10. It's going to upgrade the site um, without any kind of manual initiation through the sync portal. Yep. You're updating the bar, which then is updating the site. And any peripherals attached, which would be a site or scribe. So, yep. Yeah, so I think that, in the works. Mm -hmm. that's kind of the idea is to give you visibility into the peripherals that are connected in appliance mode uh, and then have those devices updated uh, with the bar. Yeah. Yep. And I see we are one minute past and we still have to give away stuff. So let's yeah. flip it back yeah. over. We'll hand it back to Jill. Awesome. Thanks, guys. Great session, Dan and Josh. Um, and thanks again to everyone that was here. Before I jump into a couple of items, I do want to announce our Brio winner. It's Dean Atkinson. So um, Dean, I will reach out to you after the call and we'll get all your information, but congratulations. Um, I am going to oops, share here. Uh, again, thanks for joining us today. And we, um, we always wanna improve our sessions and topics and definitely would love to get your feedback. I'll be sending an email after this event that will include um, a survey. So please, if you can, uh, fill that out for us and provide any feedback that you have. And also wanted to highlight our upcoming dates and topics. So this uh, series has two more sessions and it's um, just to note, it's always the last Tuesday of every month. And our next one will be October 31st. So we're gonna do a fun Halloween theme. So definitely join us for that. Um, and it's gonna be focused on our key innovations in your room. So our room solutions. And then our last session for the year is Tuesday, November 28th, and it's key innovations at your desk. So all of our personal workspace solutions. We are gonna take a break uh, for Dece December and I'm working with the team on next year's sessions. So we'll be kicking those off in January. And they've asked how they can get the recording at the end of this? Uh, yes, so that's actually something that we've just started to do. I will be working with our teams to get um, a recording to share. It does take a couple of days, but I will definitely provide. And actually bigger picture, we are looking to kind of create a landing page with all of our Talk Techie recordings going forward. So um, that might be news to Josh and Dan as well, but um, we are working on that. Yeah, it's good sense. news. It's good news. Yeah, right? I think so. <laughs> yeah, even yeah. if it was like a YouTube channel or something that you guys could access. I know other um, parts of the world, Australia and our, our colleagues in LATM, they do some YouTube videos of these talk techie to me's that they post. So we can talk about it offline and find a way definitely. to make those widely available for you. Yep. Yeah, definitely. All right. I think that's it. Well, hey, thank you everyone so much for joining. Um, we hope that you're finding value in these sessions. And again, you know, folks join a lot of times without video and on mute, but you're always welcome to speak up, 
come off mute and just talk to us directly if you want on these calls. Um, we know too that the select stuff is probably more straightforward than some of the other technical um, topics that we discuss. But um, but thank you for tuning in, and we hope you'll join us next time. I someone had a question about Logidoc Flex. I have to assume that during the um, the November twenty eighth call, we're probably going to touch on Logidoc Flex. So make sure that you register for that um, that webinar that we're doing on the twenty eighth. Uh, I can't remember who asked that now, but um, yeah. Yeah, no, definitely. Call. And actually, Josh, I just put in the chat our link to register. So if um, you Perfect. guys haven't Thank you. registered, yeah, please, uh, please jump into that and register today. Yeah. Right. Well, thank you, everyone, so much. Take care, everyone. Thanks, everybody. Bye.